Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can trigger any MS flow based on some column value. So you must be thinking we can have just uh, one power automate trigger condition there we can just put the column name and have it equal to some value so that it can just only trigger based on that value. So that's true, you are right. But there are two pieces to it. So one is like we can add the condition trigger to our power automate. But what if like if that condition is already met and if something other column gets changed, then it will trigger your flow at once again. And whatever changes you keep on doing to your item, it will keep sending because that condition have already met. For example, I'm, I'm on an issue tracker list and let's say my power of automate runs on a condition where the status gets resolved. So I can just put up one flow where let's say if I'm just putting one test issue and I'm directly like marking that as a result and saving this. So if I would be putting the power automate trigger condition, so this resolve condition is must result in the true and your flow should be into the next actions. So that's right. But what happens when we say if I'm just changing or updating something in other column field, but I just want to do send the email or notification when this status is resolved for the first time, not like if I'm updating any other information. So how to tackle that piece? So this is a main piece of our video, how we are going to tackle the other changes. So if I just save it, so it will be saved but it will again trigger our flow and do the operations which we want to do again and which is not what we want actually because we just want to send the notifications or do some actions based on just once the status is resolved not all the time so how to do that i'll just run to my power automate and i'll just create one instant cloud flow and in trigger i'll choose when item is created or modified and I'll just connect to my this tab list and the issue tracker list and now as we said like we can just put up one power automate trigger condition using this settings and we can just scroll down and in the trigger condition, we can add our condition. So that's a step one where I'll be adding the condition. So I'll just, and you can see like the condition is at the rate equals trigger body. And this is a status column as this was a choice column. So we have to extract the value out of this column and we can just copy this and paste it over here in trigger condition. So the step one is done. So whenever our list item status column value is resolved and only this will send the notifications so in the next step i'll just add up the notification to the creator of this issue for example i can use just simply send email i can just pick that from dynamic assign to email and says that issue is and i can just pick the status value and the same thing I can do over here, dear assigned to, not assigned to, I would like to send that to a created by email who created, who created this issue. All right, so it's a test email body, so I'll just save it. And now I'll just go to my tracker list and create a new item just showcase you that our trigger condition is working fine so issue one and there's a new issue i'll just save it and i'll wait for our flow to run meantime i'll just rename it All right, so I've just created that item. Now our flow should not be triggering up because we have already set up the trigger condition. So it just 
there should not be any instances yes we don't have any instances and we wait up uh, till two minutes we still have, don't have that means like our trigger condition is fine and now i'm going to update the status let's say as a result and now i'll save this issue one and i'll be expecting my one instance of this flow is running as the trigger condition has already met so yes uh, we have one instance running because that power, power trigger condition already met and it sent out that email and as i said like let's say after resolution i would just uh, want to attach something to this uh, uh, item or let's say would like to update the description so if i just update the description and just save it again so because the status is resolved our power automate trigger condition will or uh, will again met so this second instance would automatically get triggered in this power automate and that instance we don't want to happen so to stop that we'll be using again a couple set of actions that would just send out the email when the issue is resolved just once not any other column is updated so that's the key of video over here so i'm just expecting the second instance running because we just updated this issue description but status was already resolved so that's why we got this second instance running which is incorrect which is wrong we should want to avoid this so how to do that we can just add it our flow back and now i can add one action and that action would be when changes not when changes that changes for an item or a file so this action would give me the changes which is being done from this current version to the past version so i just first of all connect this to my issue tracker list id i'll just set the current item id and since i'll just say like since the starting of our trigger token so trigger window token start token so that means like the last time the flow ran and since until we'll just keep that as blank because we want the recent version of the item so by this action we got our this changes whatever has done on this item and in the next step i will add up one condition and in that condition choose a value so we'll be choosing a value has changed so you will see there are a lot many properties which will say has column changed id has column changed title and what all columns are there so it it's having one boolean that is has column changed so for this has column change status will pick if this value is true that means if only this status column change then only this condition will be true so has column change from our last previous version in this current version if that is yes then only we will be sending the emails to the requester the, to the creator otherwise it will just skip to the next step and it's just done so to, to have this logic in place earlier we what we used to do like we used to keep a flag that whether uh, that flag is being set as uh, marked as check for example sending emails then we must be checking those so get rid of all those stuff just have this get changes of one an item in place and check the previous version values like whether these are changed or not in just one single step and do your operation so i'm just going to save it and we'll just run a test proof that whether this get changes runs fine or not so i'm just going to update something over here with the status as a result for example uh, let's say issue source so i forgot to add something over here so let's say i'll just add my site name and i'm just closing this so now i have created one column and i'll be expecting my flow to run but condition to evaluate it as false so let's wait okay so our instance ran 
and we get to know like we got this condition over here so you can see because i have just updated the issue source not the status value so that's why it resulted into false and did not execute did not send the emails and if i must be changing the value from in progress new to result so this flow must be triggered and the condition must have resulted into true and the email sign would be done so two steps just to handle the uh, column level condition trigger first is trigger put a trigger condition for that column status or the, for any column value and then put a get changes action and have that condition has changed column value so this would work in many scenarios not in just like uh, checking the uh, last column status it could work in many other scenarios so probably you can keep this action you useful action in mind that uh, this this will give you like the column changes are done or not so you can see in the output we have lot many this bool values has column change for individuals so i think like you can have a detailed look on this and try by yourself so that's it for today if you think like it was a useful tip then please do drop like and do subscribe and also comment thank you thanks for today